class in the, in the, in the yard. Going to give you another great workout you can do at home. Today's workout, 20 minutes. If you want to add an extra round, 25 minutes. Um, it's up to you. You can go two rounds, three rounds, heck, five rounds if you're feeling up for the challenge and just need a little extra workout in. Today's workout includes a little bit of cardio and a little bit of strength training. So I have a jump rope with me. If you don't have a jump rope, no worries. You can jump rope without. You can do high knees or you can march in place if you need a low impact version of what we're doing. We're gonna do 100 jump rope or 100 fake jump rope or 100 high knees or 100 marches, whichever is your preference. And we're gonna intermix it in with some strength exercises that require nothing but your body weight. If you are outside like I am on a beautiful floor today, I would recommend grabbing a mat or a towel, something you can throw on the ground. Um, but you really don't need a lot of space for this workout. You can do it on your back porch, you can do it in the driveway, you can do it in the garage. It's really up to you. The goal is just to keep you guys moving, so let's get moving. I'm gonna start off with 100 jump rope. So that's where the workout's gonna begin, is 100 jump rope. You're gonna do your 100 jump rope, grab a hold, feet shoulder width apart, chest up, shoulder square, head up, and you're gonna do 15 squats. That's it, just 15 squats. Remember, when you squat, you sit your butt back like you're sitting down in a chair, chest up, abs in, shoulder squared. Three, Two, one. I'm gonna take my jump rope off or gonna do my high knees again or my march in place or my jump rope which is swinging my hands. the ground all the way down pick your hands up all the way up it's only 15 if you need to put your knees down same thing chest to the ground hand release all the way up focus on driving up using the core using the chest using the arms again if you're on your knees same thing Keep those abs nice and tight. All right, got my 15. Jump rope back in hand. Round three, another 100 jump rope. I hope you guys remember this to get out and get about. Even if you're just getting out and getting a walk, take the dog out, get a little extra time there, get some fresh air. These last few weeks have been really stressful on everybody, and it looks like we're in for a couple more weeks, but hopefully everything will get back to normal soon. Our gyms will open, our parks and beaches will open, and we can get out and resume what we're gonna call our new normal. But please remember, exercise isn't just a physical thing. It's a mental health as well. You gotta get out, you gotta take some time to yourself. I got 10 more. Four, 
online. If you're stuck home, we always wish we could stay home, right? 15 lunges. I'm so busy chatting, I forgot to tell you what the exercise was. 15 lunges. If we're staying home, working from home, if we're homeschooling with the kids, sometimes you just need a little me time. Please, parents, don't feel guilty about it. Heck, your kids probably need a little me time. Send them out. Get them moving. Get the blood flowing. Come back. Feel a little better. Two more. I did 16. Didn't want to be unbalanced. All right. Back to your jump rope or your high knees or your march. My knot has a knot in it, it's gonna stay. exercise is back down on our mat and we're going to do sit-ups or crunches again if you have a bad lower back bad neck stay with crunches take it back to a nice focus on the sky or on the ceiling and you're gonna bring just those shoulder blades off your mat for 15 if you need more of a challenge Go ahead and get a full sit up for 15. It's up to you. It's your choice. You can mix it up. One time do sit ups, one time do crunches. Two more. Last one. All right. Grabbing my rope one final time. So I started with jump rope. I'm going to end with jump rope. So you're going to get 500 jump rope or high knees or marches per each round. When you finish this last hundred jump rope, you're going to give yourself a minute or two of rest. And then you're going to start right back at the top. Your goal really is to shoot for three rounds. If you can, or you have a little extra time, feel like you need to burn a little more energy, by all means, do four or five rounds. The goal is just again to get you out, get you moving, get a little physical exercise, get a little mental health, feel great. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to message us. We have taken our full gym now over to a platform for virtual. So all of our boot camp classes and all of our teachings we're doing online. So if you're looking for a class to join, message us or comment. We'll be happy to respond. We're also doing our personal training online, one-on-one, -on -one, for video calls if classes aren't your thing. If you're just looking to get outside the box, now's the time to try different trainers, try different classes, things that you normally wouldn't even be able to try because it's out of your zip code or out of your area or even outside of your, your wheelhouse or your box. So I encourage you, give something a try. Grab a hold of some of these workouts that are out there. Give this one a shot. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of yourselves, take care of each other. Above all else, let's just be nice. Let's just make the place a little bit better than it is right now. Let's be kind to one another. Let's show some love. Let's support each other. Let's lift each other up. Let's get through this tough time. And then let's just keep moving forward. There's a lesson to be learned, positive, negative, but whatever it is, let's take it in stride and let's move forward. Look forward to seeing you guys next time 